Brits will be here soon. We shall stand our ground and fight them to the death. Yes, yes. Hey, welcome to Religion Week TV, where my spiritual ears stay. Guys, beware of the Federalist Party forming on YouTube. Hey, y'all, we all know about the FBI, right? That's the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Well, I got up this morning and I heard this other YouTuber, this woman out in Chicago, say that, uh, well, let me let you hear what she said. Although, I mean, one of us should probably warn everyone, you know, that the British are coming. I mean, not me. I mean, I want to fight. Well, okay, she didn't quite say this, but check out what she said. And it almost reminded me of the British Tea Party Federalist Party. Um, I'll tell you straight up. I have a son, my oldest son, who spent several years in the federal prison. I told you, me personally, I don't play with Babylon at all. I let the beast be where the beast need to be, and I mind my own damn business when it comes to calling the police on people and, uh, you know, out here warring like the Federalist Party did when they was trying to come against the American people with the British people. I'm going to put some definitions in what just the word federal means. And you guys let me know if this rings as if there's a Federalist Party growing on YouTube. It's all about money. It's all about status. It's all about... Uh, uh, different parts of government coming together, you know, little, little, little by little relinquishing some of their power, but different operating from different territories and different units from this one power. Guys, check out what this cray cray lady said. Wait, oh, shoot, I've got the horse. I mean, but if anyone else wants to go, I'll go. No one? Imagine what I have to do now that I have found out that this is federal. Can you say federal? Federal. Federal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert some, you know, dictionary terms of just what the word federal means. And you can see how deep this is really going, y'all. This is so personal on so many levels. This woman has hate in her heart, you know, and it, it, it just marvels me that these people will go through any lengths to take down a YouTuber they never met. But yet on January 29th, the same night Jesse Smullett said two men attacked him in Chicago, a man showed up at this lady's house with a bag of groceries and she told the world he was stalking her. There's no police report. There's no evidence of that. Just like there was no evidence of Jesse Smuller and the lies he told. And remember, this person always tell you a lie don't care. Who tell it? While she's always asking this of the Lord. This woman, on January 29th, the night Jesse Smollett told his lie, she told her lie, it just proved to me that Chicago has some lying ass folks that hell from there, because at the same time, no disrespect. We all saw how she did her alleged scam 
with the GoFundMe and the Christmas gifts and the apartments and blaming people she couldn't get an apartment, being homeless on YouTube, raising all this money. So it just proves to me that there's some people in Chicago that need deliverance from this federalistic party that they're growing. It's all about money. It's all about being the biggest winners on YouTube. It's all about them all having their own power but coming together and allowing people to distribute their power on certain platforms. You know, showing territorialistic, territorial units to come on a platform and tear other YouTubers down. See, when I hear words, I just don't think of the feds because I told you, I've dealt with the feds in real life. All right? My son was trafficking drugs from the state of New York to the state of Vermont. And she's right. When you travel state to state, this is this does become federal. And what she's doing is federal. She's traveling state to state with her nonsense and her lies. So I hope you all can get this conversation popping about the federalist movement that's happening on YouTube against the women's empowerment movement, maybe. You know, they said Paul Revere never said the British were coming. Why? Because at that time, America was still owned by Britain. Can you see how this is unfolding? The Federals are coming. But is it in the form of the Feds? Or is it in the form of this Federalistic Party that's against America, want to help the British overcome America, yet it's still American? Is it working against itself as treason? That's just the question I have for you. Here go the uh, inserted uh, dictionary, world's Bible, uh, understanding of what the mean federal, 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 federal. Yeah, when the federals get involved, y'all better watch out in these YouTube streets. Have a great day. God bless you and shalom. Well, guys, before I let you go, just read the bottom part of this here. It says that the um, Federalists left a lasting legacy in the form of strong federal government with a sound financial base. They all seem like they got a lot of money going on and a lot of financial support, right? After losing executive power... They decisively shaped the Supreme Court policy for another three decades through the person of, what is that, Chief Justice John Marshall. They lost executive power, yo. This, this, this federalist movement, getting all the police involved. See, they lost their executive power on YouTube, so now they're trying to force these Supreme Court policies on people just see the analogy here if the feds are involved why did this woman say in the same said video go to the video where it says um uh at a loss for words literally and and listen to this woman says she could have did what she had to do state to state did she ever take out any paperwork on this woman on this other youtuber And if she took out state paperwork, why she have to keep fending for the next level of persecution? I'm telling you, yo, back this spirit down while you can. Because Jezebel, Jezebel is always out to kill God's prophets. And God's prophets ain't always right, don't always do what's right, don't always sound right. But nonetheless... There's always a Jezebel out here in this world that is trying to kill God's prophet. And when they lose their executive power, now they out here sounding like they're trying to force power on people, force their ideology, force their opinions on people, force their their Babylon, uh, Babylonian ways on people. Get the police involved. Get the police involved.
the same people she hanging with didn't get the police involved a, a year ago. And now these same people is rooting her on to get the police involved when ain't even nothing going on. The real damage was done a year ago if any damage was done at all. So again, I'm going to reiterate it. There's something about Chicagoans and this YouTube and how they get on here and play these games how they get on here and want people to feel sorry for them how they get on here and use people for their money how they get on here and lie create race wars hate wars all kind of division and things like that because it's in their spirit to be a federalist they've been lost their executive power but they keep forcing the lies of courts coming, this coming, I did this, I did that. Oh, it's going down. I need y'all help, though. Give me the money. We got a lawyer. If she ain't got no money, it's called legal aid. You understand what I'm saying? It's called get your butt down to the free, uh, 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 what's that, uh, pay, uh, paid legal services or something like that. Be careful of the Federalists because they all about that money, okay? They not about what's right because they turned on their own country. Just like you're going to see this Federalistic Party on YouTube turn on itself. Alright? So remember, Paul Revere never said the British are coming. But we have a lady on YouTube yelling the Federalist is coming. Y'all better watch out and pay attention to the signs of the times. God bless you, Shalom, and have a great day. This whatever is Religion Link TV and my spiritual world, ears. Stay. You are in. Thank you.